Hey Libra, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Uh, feel free, feel free to pick the sites that you resonate most with. If it's not your story, don't try to fit it in. And if you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Okay. The person you're dealing with, right? This person's feeling very left out by you. They're feeling very isolated. They want to reach out, but they're not being able to. Um, they're not being able to communicate with you. However, I mean, they're holding back very strongly and they're holding on to you very strongly, both ways. But I feel here that this person out here um, is not giving up on you very easily. You, on the other hand here, I feel you've put in a lot of work, a lot of effort in this connection, okay? And now it's come to a point where it's overburdening, you know, very overwhelming out here. And you're releasing this burden. You're letting the stress go. You're putting an ending to this situation. You're just, you know, no longer wanting to carry the burden of this relationship. This is something that from fun, from passionate from loving it became to something which was just a pile on. I think you're ready to take action. You're in like, you, you know, you're in that self-confidence mode out here because with the magician, I feel you're manifesting a lot of new opportunities in your life. Now, the new could be new opportunities in your career, in your goals, in your finances, business, or just new love out here, okay? But I feel you're in that place where you just feel very strong enough, where you feel you have everything uh, that you need to make things happen in your life. You're probably in isolation all this while. You could have thought a lot about the situation, but you're coming out of that. You've had enough time to rest and now we are ready to like, you know, more like that rejoin the world, come out of the isolation mode and ready to make shit happen in your life here. But yeah, when it comes to this connection here, you're dropping it. You're dropping it. I mean, you were the only one doing all this, right? You were the only one taking all this uh, burden and you've like literally like you've taken up the responsibility to make this relationship work out this person out here has their cards up that's their biggest problem out here they have their cards up they're so shut off they have trust issues they don't want to open up they refuse to open their mouth they refuse to communicate they obsess about communication they did they, they dream about talking to you but then you know it's that codependent energy that lack mentality where they feel they're not good enough or probably they fear rejection or probably they have abandonment issues could have gone through something in the past probably this person out here because of which they are so in that very low vibrational negative zone okay where probably they fear rejection maybe they've been rejected in the past out here or they just can't stand rejection something like that but their guards are up they're watching you they're watching you they're watching you drop them <laughs> actually they're watching you drop them but they're like you know what no i don't know i don't know if it's a good idea to approach libra right now you're like in this full power right now you know with the magician here you're like stronger and you have no doubt in you that you can not make anything happen you know it's like if i want something i'm getting it that's the kind of power you're in and this person out here is complete opposite in that like that lack mentality you know they don't they lack self-love is also what i'm getting this person needs to grow up this person needs to grow up maybe this person always expects you to pull them out of the rut they expect you to reach out to them they expect you to take care of them they expect you to nurture them they expect you to take care of the entire relationship while they're like this little baby who needs help this time i don't think you're doing that you're going to pursue what you're passionate about but yeah the cards are up they're not they're not letting you go but they're not even completely um giving into this connection so it's like that it on what action will you take oh, what action will they take hmm. i feel this person is there's a lot of planning and brainstorming going on from this person's side here you know they're thinking planning brainstorming you know trying to get a lot of new ideas of how to approach you but they're waiting for the right time to approach you till then they're going to be shut off their heart chakra is blocked out here you on the other hand here, I think you're very focused on your money, your security, your your goals, etc. See, with the Queen of Wands, that's why I said there are chances you're pursuing something which is very productive, something that you're very passionate about. Could be a hobby, could be a new business, could be, you know, something that, you know, could be socializing, whatever. But you're putting yourself out there. You could have been withdrawn from the society all this while, withdrawn from your friends, relatives, whatever, you know, maybe. But I think now you're ready to put yourself out there. And um, you could be wanting to settle down. You could be wanting commitment. But it's more like you're not settling for anything less than this. I mean, if, if they don't come towards you with the right approach, or if they're scared, or they're fearing rejection, whatever. For you, it's like, you know what, you're lost. I don't have time to waste. Let's see the outcome here. 
Mm. You're growing. You're growing. You have the growth and expansion on your side here. Whilst this person out here is waiting uh, and watching. This person is contemplating. Okay. They're in this wait and watch mode here. They don't want to jump in and take any action. They're going to wait it out. See with the three of wands here also. They're planning. It's like if this person wants to come to you with an approach, with an offer, but you just can, cannot refuse because they see you as very abundant. They see you as someone who's got a lot of confidence, a lot of um, suitors, you know, with you. How about that magician energy? Dude, you're unstoppable is what I'd say. And this person out here is holding back only because they're not confident. I feel this person here is waiting for the right way. You know, this person kind of procrastinates most of the time because they always want things perfect. They want to come towards you in a way where you cannot refuse or in a way where, you know, everything's perfect. And it's like they come towards you and you say a straight fucking yes. That's what it is. But anyways, regardless, you're doing you. What's this person out here is just going to wait and watch. I think that you're not going to do anything from your side. You're just going to wait and watch because this is a long-term investment from you. And I think you're just going to uh, wait for the fruits of your labor. You're going to wait for something to come into fruition. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, you're still okay with it. Yeah, you know, you're in this abundant energy where, you know, you're indirectly using the law of attraction. You're attracting this person back into your life. But in a way where this person grows up and does something about it rather than just sit there, uh, you know, like be like a little baby where you always have to go ahead and, you know, pull them up or tell them, you know, like overlook their faults. That's a very kiddish, immature person out here. But yeah, I guess you'll just have to wait for them to grow up. And whilst you enjoy um, your abundance, your nurturing, creative side of you, okay? I think your focus is you. This person does see you as very confident. I'm not going to lie. They, they, they are pretty intimidated by you. They are intimidated by you. But they have that willpower to just hold on a little bit, you know? Maybe they've gone through a lot in the past because of which they, the guards are up. But they're up. The guards are up. And it's like... It's, it's pretty tough for you to, you know, keep doing this with them over and over again. Because instead of getting the results, doing the same thing over and over again, you're just like, you know what, trying a different approach this time, which is just letting this person be. Focusing on your abundance, focusing on your money, your goals, and wait for this person to make their way towards you. Okay? So that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates. Leave your comments below, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.